Greetings, dear listeners. I hope you're doing well. We're here tonight in a deserted parking lot because I received the following email. Warren, I work as a night cleaner in an oil industry. <laughs> yeah, it still exists in Canada. In an oil industry research facility near your old stomping grounds of Jokeville. The facility is on the edge of town, so I bike there, my shift being 4 p.m. to midnight. It's a boring job, mostly waxing and polishing floors, but I have my earbuds in, so it's tolerable. The parking lot behind the facility is mostly empty at night, just a few random cars, and I, I never really noticed until Ashton, one of the women who cleaned the offices, asked me to walk her out to the dumpster out back. It seems the ladies were spooked by these cars, black cars, which they claimed were always there, night after night. They thought whoever was in the cars was spying on them. <sighs> Not that they ever saw them. Eventually, I had to walk the women to their cars when they left at 8 p.m. They worked a half shift. Hmm, I think somebody's spying on us now. Eventually, I had to walk the uh, women to their cars when they left at 8 p.m. They worked a half shift and watched the none of the black cars follow them. A few nights ago, I was alone after the women left, and I found I was now feeling spooked, like I was being watched. I kept thinking I could see faces at the window, but when I looked, there was nothing there. And I kept wondering about those black cars. I would look out at them, and they were just sitting there. But who did they belong to? I was pretty sure I was alone in the building, so they couldn't be employees. But then who? But I have lots to do and no time for speculation. So I got on with my duties and I was relieved to see the cars were gone at quitting time, midnight. So I headed off down the nearby service road, deciding to stop at a local watering hole before heading home. I usually enjoy the ride back as there are no cars and I can race down the middle of the road but this night, this night, I got jumped by flying heads. Three of them, an older bald guy and two ugly skanks. I was passing a farmer's field and they just flew out of the darkness. I think they were trying to knock me off my bike. And when that failed, they actually started snapping their jaws at me. It was then I knew they were the night floaters. I sped away from them, but they kept up with me, and I don't know what would have happened. If you're hearing background noises, dear listeners, it's because I think we are under observation right now, but we will continue. I sped away from them, but they kept up with me, and I don't know what would have happened, but just then a big Dodge Ram pickup came down the service road with its high, beam, its high beams on, its high beams, and they scattered and completely disappeared. I sped up and figured I'd gotten away when I was blinded by another pair of headlights belonging to a car which was racing towards me, towards me to hit me. I managed to jump off and pulled my bike into the ditch and they missed me by inches. It was a black Lexus one of the cars which had been in the parking lot. They went roaring down the road, but I knew they'd be back. There was a grove of thick trees nearby, and I didn't hesitate. Picking up the bike, I pushed my way in and got behind some thick bushes, a place where I could see the road, but they couldn't see me. A minute later, the Lexus came rushing past. I stayed where I was, and minutes later it returned searching for me with a spotlight 
I lay down on the ground on top of the bike and the beam passed over me. They made several more passes. <coughs> several more passes. And then the heads appeared, obviously looking for me. The head of the older bald floater actually came into the trees and got quite close and I figured I was screwed. But then I realized it was distracted as it was eating bugs. Eating bugs? Disgusting. It was actually eating them off the ground and off the trees. It was gross. The heads gave up after about 20 minutes. I waited another 20 then made my way home. I needed my drink but I didn't get it. I've managed to switch to the day shift. I told the boss some guys were harassing me and trying to knock me off my bike, so he put me on days. I'm a good worker, so he likes me. <laughs> and I'm driving to work now, so I'm okay. But I'm worried about the ladies. Any advice? Well, that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. The question for me is, were you just a random victim or were you targeted? What do you think, dear listeners? Was the night cleaner just a random victim of harassment or was he specifically targeted by the night floaters? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay safe, stay subscribed. Ring that bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos. And feel free to share this video and any of my other videos with anyone you please. If this is your first visit to my channel, my name is Warren and I write and tell original ghost stories and original horror stories about cryptids such as the night floaters, werewolves, and the black-eyed children. So please consider subscribing. And let's all stay hungry. I'm now going to ask the lovely and talented camera crew to give us a panorama shot of our surroundings, which is an abandoned parking lot. Luckily, there aren't any black cars, but there's this mysterious white car, which you could hear in the background because it's been driving around and it's been appearing every time we've gone to make a movie lately. So let me know in the comments if you see it as well and what you think it might be up to. Hopefully we can continue to make these, but I don't know if we're starting to get harassed during filming. So take it away, camera crew. Uh-oh, here comes a black car now. <laughs> I better get I better finish this up quick. Till midnight. Cheers. <laughs>